Well, thank you, Ron. For the past 10 years, the Salem Historical Society has been offering underground railroad trolley tours, and today, a first for the Society, their first winter tour. 27 First News reporter Vince Call learned that it is all possible thanks to a new investment. From history, we learn things we've done well and things we've done poorly, and that we want to avoid making the same mistakes over again. Ginger Grilly is the lead tour guide and president of the Salem Historical Society. Today, she led the Underground Railroad Escape to Freedom tour through town. This year, thanks to a new trolley, the tours are offered year round. That comes with an advantage. We decided we would offer this tour in the winter because you actually get a better view of some of the houses when the trees are not in bloom. The tour looks at 14 buildings in Salem, all with ties to the Underground Railroad or abolition movement. The most famous is a building known as Unzerheim, home of Daniel Hal Heiss, one of the primary conductors of Underground Railroad activities in Northeast Ohio. You'll read in the literature many people coming and going from his home, and he was involved in conversations and um, supervising the work of the volunteers. Among other facts, writers learned Sojourner Truth lived in Salem for two years, plus a major newspaper, the Anti-Slavery Bugle, was printed in Salem and sent across the country. There's no absolute numbers for the people, the number of people who escaped during that time period, and it ranges anywhere from 10,000 to hundreds of thousands of people. And, and the truth probably lies somewhere in between. In Salem, Vince Call, WKBN 27 First News.